nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Oh. Hi right guys, what is going on? It's Jacob here. Today's video is going to cover binge eating and how I get over it. I know, I know binge eating can affect people from all walks of life. Today's video is going to cover binge eating whilst you're on a diet. So for example, myself, if I'm trying to, you know, actively drop body fat and I go and binge eat, this is what I'm going to be talking about. So how I get over it. I can give you all the tips, all the physical tips, what to eat, how much cardio to do to get yourself back down and back on track. But at the end of the day, I think the biggest hurdle in getting over binge eating is actually mental. And once you're armed with a few, a few things, once you're armed with a bit of knowledge about how your body works, about how water weight works, and you know, train yourself to sort of forget about what's happened and just look into the future, I think you're in, you're in great stead to sort of get over it as soon as possible. So let's say for example, I am dieting on 2,500 calories a day and I, I feel good about it. I get to someday and I think, fuck, you know, I've, I've stuck to my diet, definitely lost fat. I can have a few things, right? So I start picking at that and then I'll start picking at that and then I might go and buy something to, to eat from the, from the takeaway. And before you know it, you know, it, it's it's really, it's on you. If you are tracking everything, you continue to track on that Sunday, you probably won't go over. But, you know, sometimes I do forget to track. And at the end of the day, I, I think, I end up saying to myself, you know what, fuck it. I don't care. I'll worry about it tomorrow. I've stuck to my diet so well this week, you know, I deserve it. And honestly, guys, yeah, you can you can say that to yourself. But at the end of the day, if you've gone and binged and, and eaten five, 6,000 calories on that Sunday, Man, you really have fucked yourself up. But come that Monday morning, there's certain things that I will do, certain you know protocols I put in place so that by Tuesday or, or at latest by Wednesday, I'm feeling back on track and I'm feeling like I can continue um, in a positive headspace because that, that is the key, man. That's, that's the key is your mental headspace. You wake up on that Monday and if you haven't prepared for yourself for eating all that food, you're going to be feeling pretty sluggish you know, physically. Um, if not mentally as well. So the first tips I would say is jump up, get some cardio under your belt, go and do half an hour or an hour's cardio, get that food, you know, churning, get it moving, because all it's been doing is probably sitting in your stomach most of the night. You're gonna feel a bit bloated when you wake up, but I, I tell you what, even just after that first hour of walking, uh, fasted, don't eat anything, just, just get some BCAAs or get some water in your system, go for a walk and come back and, you know, you will be feeling a lot better, a lot lighter straight away depending on how much you ate the night before, obviously. So um, that would be my first tip. Don't even worry about tracking things these first couple of days, you know. Just make sure you limit the salt, you limit the sugar, you limit the junk, and make sure most of your meals are based around a nice clean protein source. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna start flushing out that excess water weight that you've, you've retained overnight. My second, I'm just looking at my scales over there. My second tip, and probably the most important, would be don't go anywhere near a scale. You could have put on three kgs of water weight overnight. You could have. There's, there's no doubt about it. But you don't want to see that on the scales, do you? And obviously someone who's not knowledgeable about you know, bodybuilding, fat loss, and, and weight loss and things may think that they've put on three kgs of fucking body fat. And obviously that's completely untrue. You may have put on a few grams of body fat, but it's certainly not three kgs. Most of that is water weight and that is retained because of the excess sodium that you've taken in, um, the excess carbohydrates that your body's not used to, and you'll definitely feel bloated around this, this area. But if you go and do cardio, you stick to a high protein, low carb, low fat diet for you know the first day or two. I think come Wednesday morning, you jump back on those scales and, and you'll be surprised, man. You will have lost most of your water weight, if not all of it and you'll be back on track before you know it. So those would be my, my major tips as far as physical things that you can do. The one thing I do wanna cover is, is the mental aspect. So if it really does mean a lot to you um, to, to diet down and get in good shape, and then you go and binge like that, that Monday morning, you're gonna be feeling like shit. And, and all I gotta say is that it takes a strong person. I mean, you're strong, you're strong. If you're, you're strong enough to go in the gym and train, if you're strong enough to fucking be running every day, or to be sticking to that diet for those first six days, you are a strong person. And you've got to channel that strength that first day. And on that Monday morning, man, you've got to channel it. Um, you've got to use all of your power 
to say, to, to, to say, okay, yes, I ate all that food, I enjoyed it, it tasted great, but I can't continue like that. I've got to get back on the diet, I've got to get back on the horse as soon as I can, which is this Monday morning. The last thing you want to do is give up for another day and go and binge and again, you know, on the Monday or, or again on the Tuesday because that is when you really start getting in trouble. Physically, if your body is full of carbohydrates, your glycogen stores are full, and then you go and blast yourself with another huge amount of carbs, um, that will be going to fat. That definitely will be going to fat. But if your glycogen stores were quite depleted come that Sunday morning, and you went and you know, binged just for the one day, most of all that's gonna happen is your glycogen stores are gonna fill right back up. That is gonna cause the water weight, and as far as body fat gain, it's not gonna be that much. But like I said, it comes down to you being strong, strong enough to accept the fact that you've eaten all that shit, realize that it tasted nice, and that you can't do it again. And the only thing you've got to do is to remember what is important at this time. And if you're like me, when you're dieting down, that is pretty fucking important. There's a quote I, I always use, which is, don't count the days, make the days count, which basically that means you know, do all you can on this particular day to bring yourself closer towards that future goal. Don't think about that goal way down the track. You, well, you can think about it, but write it down and put it away. You know that's there, you know what the goal is. What you've got to focus on is what you can actually do on this day, you know, day-to-day -day shit. Get your cardio done. Have your daily list that you've got to, you know, tick off each day in order to reach that goal, especially come that Monday morning when you're feeling like shit. Just do what you can on that day and the next day and come Wednesday you'll be back on track. So that was my advice on binge eating and how I get over it, binge eating whilst on a diet. It's not the end of the world, but the last thing you wanna do is to go and binge two days in a row. I think one day is something you can get over pretty easily. Uh, don't go near the scales, hit some nice cardio, some light cardio. Make your meals nice and light around a, a good clean protein source. Minimal junk, obviously. If you get, you know, if you're already dieting, you're going to know that already. But I think the damage will be pretty, you know, pretty minor. Um, so that was my, that was my video on that. I hope I helped you guys. If anything, it, it's it's more mental. Getting up that Monday morning, you've really got to just crack into it. Forget about what happened, like I've said, and uh, you'll be you'll be fine. So have a great day. Until next time. That was me. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Reaching